All right, guys, I hate this video already, but I got to do it. I promised I would uh, show my mistakes as well. Well, I made, I made a nice mistake, and I don't know how long ago I did it. And if you guys have, uh, if you guys think I should, I'll take down every single TPI video I did. What did I do that was a major screw up? Well, you see this textured valve? I don't know how long I've been using this textured valve. But it's a 202. So today I retested with a 194. How could I possibly make such a ridiculous mistake? I have no idea. I just, I don't know whether I did it when I textured them. I don't know what I did, but in any case, there's a noticeable size difference, right? And the only reason I even picked up on it is I went to lap in the valve on the left here and it barely touched the seat. I mean, you could just, you could just see it on that edge. And then I said, wait a minute, I definitely screwed something up. And sure enough, it's a 202 on 194 seat. Anyone will tell you that cannot work. But you know what? Every mistake is for a reason. I've been banging my head saying, I don't want to open these up to 202s. They're just too damn good at 194s. That's why I think I made that mistake. In any case, let's take a look at what we got with the 194. Okay, you can put this right up against the last textured video we did, which was with the 202. We definitely have a little more on the chamber, but I know I sprayed more this time because I know I didn't spray enough last time. Let's take a look at the bore. Sorry, I erased the bore, the bore already, but you can see it was, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see it was a nice blue piece right in here. You can tell because it's cleaner. I took it off when I realized I used the wrong valve and I wanted to retest it with the 194. Okay, what I said didn't make any sense. And I had to put it back on the bench because I forgot to, to reflow the exhaust. Now, the, the exhaust did get some work. And... It got some work right in here, in this area, because every chamber wasn't the same. So I wanted to equalize them, so they're all the same. They all have the same distance now. This looks like this thing is filthy. Let me check this lens. All right, not sure if that's any better or not. That's why there's no dike up on the bore. In any case, it really doesn't look that much different than the 202 did, right? It's only that one little lip that's got some dicom on it. You can see the, this was a, a throttle body injection valve. I did put a back cut on it, but you can see the original back cut is not a 30 degree back cut. It's less than that. Now that's specific to the uh, throttle body injection. I don't know. I don't know. Because there, I know there are, TBI heads that have a back cut and some do not have a back cut. Okay, and I put a small edge on the chamber side. So, you guys let me know whether you think I should take down the incredible amount of work I've already put into this TPI project, or we should just uh, realize that uh, I can make mistakes. I'm actually very good at making mistakes, but. At least I uh, fess up to it. The only reason I fess up to it, I'm a terrible liar. I'd never be able to keep it under wraps. So let's take a look at our last swirl, our last swirl, our last flow test versus this one. And uh, I also did a video where I tested this head against my bow ties. I didn't realize I had a 202 valve in this. So it was a little beefier in the mid range. Than, uh, than it is with the 194, which of course doesn't make any sense. How can it be better when it's close to the chamber? Well, actually it tells you a little bit right there. And I will, I'll either delete that video or I will show that video depending upon what you say. It's my, it's this head with a 202 textured, I didn't know it was a 202, against my bow tie head that flows considerably more. It's got about a 215 
uh, port in it and a 2055 intake. They go heads up as far as plain, and then I bolt up all the TPI stuff to it. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll delete that video. All right, let's take a look at what we got as far as paperwork here. Maybe somebody smarter than me can explain this, but a 202 on a 194 seat was better on all of our lifts to 400. Okay, after 400, the 194 got two pluses. That's it. It's still a hundred. It's still a 273 CFM head, so it's no joke. It's still an excellent flowing head, but notice how big a difference we, we get at some of these lower lifts. And like I said, I know why I, I know why this mistake was made. It was so I put the bigger valve in at some point. You know what? I should show you guys. I did I did a full day's worth of work just checking all the guides. Remember I said I was putting my my Sioux pilots in <sighs> I have pilots in all different sizes so that's why they were fitting like they were when I went through and I measured all the guides they're all at 0 0.015 now on the bottom of them that's the concentricity of the seats one head was very good this head is not very good it goes up to five thousandths off so no matter what they're going to have to get done. The other head was much better. I think the worst seat was maybe two thousandths off. In any case, let's take a quick look at these. What do we know about... Uh... Alright, give me a second. Okay, very interesting with the swirl. It's not... <laughs> Remember we said a while ago, you know, some... it looks like when we get more flow, we get more swirl. Not completely, right? These are we got more swirl here, but we got less flow here. Then we got all minuses until we finally start to win on our flow, and then we got pluses in reference to our 202 on a 194 C. Now, I guess we can discuss a couple other things. You know, before I forget, let's take a quick look at our air speeds. Part of the reason I was upset about going to a 202 is our air speeds were so good through that intake port. Let's see if they're so good with the 194. All right, I don't have air speeds in front of me, but we're definitely fast on the pinch. Very fast at the roof of the pinch. I think I really want to pop that up, give us a little more area there. The roof is dead even, 180, 180. That's tough to beat. Would I like it a little faster? Yeah, I would. Do I think that'll go up with a bigger valve? It's a good question because we have to completely reshape the short side when we put a bigger valve in. In fact, we have to change the whole top half of the bowl, really. Now, this bowl is not excessively wide at the bottom. It's only uh, 1.75 inches across, so it's quite a bit smaller than the valve. And as far as our short side, we're fast fast and not quite as fast 416 428 382 not quite as good as it was with the bigger valve so it will be interesting after I change it to a bigger valve and uh, see how this see how this winds up all right so uh, let's take a look at our exhaust let's see if I can find a, a flow sheet with the exhaust on it okay so this looks like a major failure I do remember we had that exhaust really cranking at like 216. So this isn't uh, that long ago. This is the ninth. Okay. So I reshaped that chamber. I think that's the last one I showed you guys. We got minus, minus, minus. Now the reason I redid the chamber was I wanted to fix this noise. There was a bunch of noise right in here. Okay. And it did because we got we got less noise in less spots. We only got three spots here. We had like five spots in this other one. And we got two pluses, but the rest of it, the rest of the whole port is down more. And we max out a few CFM less. Now, we can compare our airspeeds from one to the other. 
Okay, this is before I worked on the chamber, this is after I worked on the chamber. Let's put some pluses and minuses in. All right, I don't get it. It didn't flow as well, but the airspeeds are all better. Give me some input, guys. You know, it just happened to be one of those days where everything I touched turned to crap. It, it does happen sometimes, but I do like the way the chamber is shaped now better. Why did it go down? I know why. Because it's telling me to use a 1.6, that's why. Remember, we still have a really tight throat. It's like an 82 or 83% throat. All right, guys. My haters can have just absolute rejoice. You can cut me up as much as you like in the comments. doesn't really matter. I don't have feelings anyway. But thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.